All right, David Harry here, and this is just going to be a little introduction to this preliminary test that I've got to play you because the results are really cool. Anyway, just give us a sec. I've got something on my back. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what's that there? Oh, I don't know what it is. I've been rolling around on the road outside. <laughs> Right, so what it is, in this video then, I've been out with me Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, hence me fanboy jacket, and on the point of being a fanboy, I'm a massive fanboy of road stuff, but as people who may have seen some of my videos in the past will know, I will be very critical even about the stuff that I'm a fan of, because if something isn't working properly then, it's not working properly. Now on that point, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus is um, something which, it, it's not that it's never worked or anything, but it, it's not being my first kind of like go-to mic. Uh, I've always been a little bit weird with it. Anyway, today I was massively surprised by it. It's done a fantastic job. And this prelim will kind of like, you know, show you what I'm talking about. So basically what, what I would suggest you do, if you've already got a, one of these Rode mics, or if you're thinking about getting one, listen to the second half of the test, because what it is, I put the GoPro into line level mode. I explain it as I'm doing it and stuff. And just a little quick other thing here. That's the setup that I went out with. Now, I don't know if the camera's going to focus on this properly, but see this here. This is like this little offset bracket that I use. Now, what it is, I've got a video coming up showing how to put one of these together. Dead simple, there's literally, it's either three or four components, that's all. Dead simple stuff, it's all camera kind of bits and pieces. But here's another cool thing about this, watch this. You go for the door on the side of the GoPro, look at that, you get full access to it. So the door will proper open up and not be impeded by the top there, so you can actually get at it without having to undo the cold tune stuff at the top, which is great. Anyways, enough of this, I'm gonna have to get into the video. All right, David Harry here, and this is one of my preliminary microphone tests. Very specifically, I'm testing the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which I'll just call the Rode, with the uh, the Media Mod and the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now, what it is, this is gonna be a very specific test just purely to do. We're trying to find me best input level. So in this one, I'm not going to be testing things such as EQ and such or anything like, you know, like, you know, safety, safety track and stuff because the video mic pro plus has got some fantastic functions on, but there for another video, because what I need to do first of all is find out what my best level is first and then do the other tests after that. So right now I'm in the standard like zero DB level as it were on the microphone and I'm all also in powered standard powered on the uh, on the GoPro as well so right now I will have had this gained up in post so what I'm gonna do is right now this what you are hearing is the level exactly as it's gone in so basically the microphone at zero and GoPro at its standard level now what I'm gonna do is go back up to the resum level that I will have done so what I've done there is just try to find out exactly where I'm at as far as like levels are concerned and like you know the real level gone in and where I can push it to if I had to okay so what I'm going to do is a quick cardio test okay so that's 190 degree there that is 180 degrees and then that is another 90 degrees there okay so i need to quickly get through this because the battery on my gopro is running out way faster than what it normally would and i think that might be because of the media mod anyway so let me get to the next setting okay so the setting that i'm in now is the one which will definitely give the cleanest signal although it is definitely going to be the quietest or it should be be the quietest and what that is it's to put the microphone into plus 20 db and then put the gopro into line level now the the real reason for doing this is because in line level on a gopro if you if you've got a, a healthier enough like input coming into it off a microphone or off anything line level is going to be the best because it will avoid all of that heavy dynamics processing because what happens is when you're in the mic modes it applies dynamic processing or dynamics processing 
all the time um, so the thing is I don't want to be testing the booster mode in the GoPro because I don't like it to be honest um, it's just one of those things that I, I just I, I, I try it on everything that I get onto but it's never something that I'm happy with because although you may think you've got a nice like healthy loud output you will also be subjecting your dialogue and your audio to a serious amount of like serious amount of dynamics processing and in the end you know that kind of stuff you should you should do that in post yourself you should make that decision and don't have it hard baked into the signal so hopefully this is going to be the best option here now what I'm going to do though just to give ourselves an idea of how it all went in right now this now is the original level which I'm going to imagine is very very quiet um but again, it's not a problem if by the time you gain it back up, you've got a nice sound and signal or a nice sound and dialogue sound. So what I'm going to do is right now, I'm back up to my regained, resummed level with a bit of limiting on and stuff like that. And in fact, what I'll do, I'll go quiet a sec just to see how much noise or not we've been dragging in with this. Yeah, the reason for testing that is because if I've had to overgain and stuff like that, I just want to make sure I'm not going to drag up too much noise because if you end up dragging up too much noise, it's arguable that you shouldn't really use this setting. Anyway, that'll do for this test. Now, if I've put this live anywhere, it's highly likely to be live on my prelim channel. Although, if I found this particular result to be interesting, which is the one that I will do a video all about on its own if it has worked, because this would be a great option for other GoPro users with this microphone, hopefully if it's working you know, better than the mic modes. I'll do a separate video about that but let me know anyway in the comments wherever I've left this it might go live it may just be on me uh, me what's the name me, me, me playlists and stuff because uh, I've got to get off because this is going to run out the GoPros the, the battery's now down to 9% it was on 18% when I started this take or 20 it's dropping like a stone anyways I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now and so to me favorite two Australian sayings first one is once you go road, you don't go back. And my second one is, who the f is Sennheiser?